Inside Line is brought to you by Driving.ca. First of all, we'd like to thank all of our viewers for emailing us on the story we did about the differences between Canadian and American prices on vehicles. This was by far, and I mean by far, the most mail that we have ever received on one particular topic. So over the next few weeks on driving television, we're going to be focusing on the ups and downs of importing a car from the U.S. Today, we'll help you to decide if it's actually worth it to bring a car into Canada from the United States. You personally have to do a lot of research all on your own to figure out if you really want to go through the steps to bring the car across the border. The very first thing you have to find out is if the vehicle you want to import is admissible. Go to www.riv.ca. This is the Registrar of Imported Vehicles. You can find out if the vehicle you want to import is admissible or what modifications need to be done in order to get the car across the border. The next and one of the most important factors to consider is the cost. Trevor Kramer of Affinity Auto in Vancouver imports cars from the U.S. on an ongoing basis. First of all, you've got the exchange rate that you've got to factor, so whatever the exchange rate is at the time that you're doing it is going to impact the price that you're paying for the car, ultimately. Secondly, you've got your taxes. Uh, any car imported is subject to GST and PST, which are things you would uh, be facing buying a car uh, in Canada as well. In addition, if the vehicle is not manufactured in North America, you'll be charged a 6.1% duty. Most banks require a vehicle to be registered in Canada before advancing funds. So add interim financing charges and don't forget about transportation costs. Next, brokerage fees. Our fee specifically is between three and five hundred dollars for the importation of a vehicle specifically. A&A contract custom brokers have 11 offices and import thousands of vehicles every year. Pat Marshall explains what people often miss. The biggest volume of vehicles now that people are purchasing do have air conditioning. So with air conditioning for a general passenger vehicle you're looking at hundred dollars for excise tax. In addition, a lot of people really like the bigger SUVs. You've got your Suburbans, your Hummers, your Escalades. Uh, when you're purchasing these types of vehicles, they're quite heavy, and you should expect to pay probably a few hundred dollars in uh, excess weight tax as well. The cost to register your vehicle of less than 15 years old is $230. Provincial inspection fees run about $100. The federal inspection is free. But in order to, to comply with federal regulations, you have to have your daytime running lights working, and depending on the car, there can be costs associated with having that done. So, when is it worth it? We typically won't look at importing a car unless there's at least a $5,000 difference in the price, because by the time you face all the costs associated with bringing the car in and devote the time to doing it, uh, you really have to see a substantial difference before, before it really makes sense to, to invest that time and effort into, into the process. We put our information to the test. We took three vehicles from three different price ranges and compared U.S. to Canadian pricing, including all the factors we just mentioned. First, the Toyota Matrix, with a base price of $17,200 here in Canada. The U.S. base price is $15,400. Converted to Canadian dollars, it's $18,045. Already more expensive than in Canada, so no further calculations are required. Second, the very popular BMW 335 with a Canadian base price of $51,600. The U.S. base price is $40,600. Add the exchange rate of $6,963 and because it's not manufactured in North America, add a duty of 6.1%. We have an estimated $1,000 in fees and registration for a total of $51,464. Hardly worth the effort to save 136 bucks, but the same cannot be said for the Corvette. A Canadian base price on the Corvette is $68,565. The same U.S. base price is $44,995. Add in the exchange rate of $7,708 and the same $1,000 for fees and registration for a total of $53,703, a savings of almost $15,000. That's almost enough to go and buy a Matrix. 
So at the end of the day, you have to do a little soul searching, a little time with the calculator to figure out if it's actually worth it to bring a car in from the United States. And also factor in your time. How much effort is it going to take? A couple of things to consider. You won't be able to get that car financed from the manufacturer, and some manufacturers might not stand behind the warranty. Over the next couple of shows, we're going to be looking at other topics like what are the manufacturers doing to put roadblocks to stop you from getting a car from the United States, and what is this whole practice, the onslaught of U.S. cars? Is actually doing to the Canadian market. If you missed any of today's show or like to look at a previous edition of Driving Television, go to our website at drivingtelevision.com and while you're there, fill out our online survey. Or if you're looking for any vehicle, new or used, you can go to driving.ca. See you next time. Safe driving.